That's it. And again, he's approaching passage trot here, meaning that if he shortens it even more, it will become passage. We use passage trot a lot in the stable to teach the horses to really bounce off of the ground. Very good. Go forward in working trot. Make a transition. And by the letter C, back to passage trot. And make a real transition to passage trot. This is just showing you how you change the balance between working trot and collected trot. How you can emphasize the collected trot by adding just a tick of passage to it. Very good, Christopher. That's looking very nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. One of the things you must pay attention to in counter canter is that the strides, the length of strides in the canter do not change. So as you're going through the short side of the arena, be really careful that the quality of your canter stays the same. And this basically means ride the same. Keep your seat moving in the same motion to make counter canter. Don't stop your own seat when you make counter canter. Good, Christopher. A little bit of left flexion. Watch the strides of the hind legs. They have to stay the same. Very good. And change rein. If you talk about watching a horse's stride to see whether it changes or not, watch the hind legs. Then you'll know for sure. <laughs> 